It's space weather, and I'm filling you with suspense. Space weather. See that? That's a sunspot. There it is. Will it remain a sunspot long enough to get named 2726? Probably. Although the fields are kind of weak. And we do have an active region rising here, which is not yet a sunspot as far as we can tell. Lots of other stuff to cover, so let's not screw around. First, let's look at the quakes. We've had some oddities. 5.2 in Australia. We're going back a little farther than we usually do here 11 hours ago from the time the video was made. Hope everybody's okay there. Greece is still getting hit with mid-level 4s. A couple of 4.5s or one 4.5. Yeah, one 4.5 or 4.6 in Japan. And here's the weirdest of all. East of Greenland on northeast of northeast of Svalbard a 6.8 hey that's not northeast that's southwest anyway you can see it on the map there quite rare no tsunami warning and we're not going to go to the US downgrade service site whoops Check out spaceweathernews.com. See, yesterday after we made the video, we had a tiny little x-ray flux right there. Not a big deal. Probably from that active region or perhaps from the forming sunspot. BTBZ is pretty convergent right now. It's relaxing. Phi angle is not looking heavily connected to the coronal hole. Let's take one moment to look at the real-time solar wind. All right, there's the real-time solar wind. See, the phi angle has actually dropped down now. Uh, it's looking like it's back around 135. We have a small uptick in the solar wind density, so we are expecting a coronal hole wind stream from the previous coronal hole. I think that was number 46 or 45. So before we see the solar wind speed jump, jump up, which is right now, it's only at 410 kilometers per second, we usually see an uptick in the density. So that could be an indication, although the density of 5.11 is still fairly low. So we're looking for a bigger uptick in the density. If that continues to rise, that should be the predecessor to the coronal hole wind stream. Let's look at the sun in 304 angstroms. Take a look at that sunspot forming. There was a little bit of a plasma dance going on down there. You see a nice little discharge. And look at the magnetic lines. Looking down the barrel of a coronal hole. And you can see not a whole lot associated with that, with that sunspot. Which does have umbra, by the way. So let's look at that. Solar ham has it circled. There's the magnetic fields, which are looking pretty weak. And But there's the umbra. So you see that black spot? That means it is a sunspot. So look for that to be named soon, sunspot 2726. Now let's go over some random facts. Let's get real sarcastic with it. Let's get real sarcastic with it. We're not going to talk about your carbon footprint since that has nothing to do with the climate. However, let's talk about how hot the planet is. So, this morning it is November 9th. 
Canada is almost completely snow covered and we're getting heavy snow all around the Great Lakes region. North Central US getting blanketed. Obviously caused by global warming. Now, let's see. Let's see what's going on regarding sea, sea ice thickness and volume in the Arctic. Hmm. Well, we've got a meter of ice over the entire Northwest Passage already. And if you look at the black line, it's looking awfully steep, steeper than it ever looks in November. So obviously, you know, a warm planet grows lots of ice on it. Let's look at some other stuff. Hmm. Global cryosphere watch. Jeez, Antarctica must be melting, right? Oh. The ice thickness jet tracker is totally off the charts. Oh. Hmm. Boy, oh boy, the planet is just burning up. Reduce your carbon footprint, everybody. And let's look at snow cover. Hmm. How about the Rutgers daily snow extent? Notice how Canada is almost totally covered with snow on November 9th? All signs of a hot planet. All right, enough of that nonsensical sarcasm. Let's head back to space weather and get back into the data. All right, so the magnetometer is flattening out. That's a that's an odd looking graph there. So we'll keep an eye on that. When the corona hole wind stream shows up, that's going to spike. KP index is down to one, and the cosmic rays have upticked a little bit. We'll look at it in a moment. Electron flux is flattened out along with the magnetometer. No real surprise there. And F2 layer is looking pretty normal and healthy. Auroral forecasts, there you go. Take a quick gander at the cosmic ray situation. The Ulu Finland Neutron Monitor see a small uptick just in the past day as expected with a KP of 1 which beats the hell out of a KP of 0 and there's the Antarctica DOMC similar uptick in the southern hemisphere according to that one and there you have it so let's look for that sunspot to get named Close things out. Solar disk and 171 angstroms. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to videos. Please share the videos on your social media if you see fit. And when you're studying sunspots, don't drink. And if you drink, don't study sunspots.